Welcome to the basic course for the building bus system KNX performed by the Siemens KNX Training Center in Regensburg. You have signed up for the remote course option. During the course period you may determine yourself when and where you are dealing with its content. The provided training case Gamma Training Kit 5 helps you to a 100% in the implementation of the practical tasks. At the end of the course you will have the KNX Partners Test. After passing the examination you will receive the official KNX Partners Certificate. My name is Axel Grossman. For over 25 years I am KNX Trainer at the Siemens Training Center Regensburg. My colleague Günther Berner and I will support you via live meetings in this course. Mr. Berner or I will be your examiner at the final exam day to pass the KNX Partner examination. We wish you lots of success in self-learning. The theory of the basic course is structured as follows. You will initially receive a brief introduction on Siemens as a manufacturer of products and systems of the KNX building system technology. There is also a brief introduction to the KNX system. Then we explain the main areas of application for KNX by some examples. The technical training starts with the chapter Bus Devices. This chapter does not explain certain devices, but the KNX typical structure of KNX bus nodes. In the chapter installation you will learn the essential things to consider when you install the KNX bus in a building such as electrical safety and limits with regard to the line routing and number of bus nodes. The chapter topology shows the network structure of the KNX bus system. In the chapter communication or system overview you will learn how bus devices exchange data with each other. The chapter telegram deals with the communication protocol of the KNX which is called KNX telegram. Line coupling finally shows how the network connection devices in a KNX network structure work. The so-called line couplers, sometimes also called routers, and which settings you must apply to them. A note for the processing of the practical tasks. You should as far as possible do both together. Changing frequently between the theoretical studies and the practicing with the training kits. Our recommendation after chapter bus devices do tasks block 1. After chapter installation tasks block 2. After chapters topology and communication tasks block 3. After chapter telegram tasks block 4. And after line coupling the tasks collection 5 which then deals with the line coupler. Task 6, a small project, is in any case processed in the final exam course as an exam preparation. But of course you can also already try it before by yourself. The task 7, DALI Gateway, is completely voluntary. It deals with content that is already in the advanced course level. The Siemens AG has launched the system EIB on the market in 1991 together with seven other well-known suppliers from the electrical industry. Since that time Siemens is full service provider in the field of building system technology. Siemens has a comprehensive portfolio of products and systems in the fields of heating, ventilation air conditioning and electrical installation and can thus provide the complete technical equipment for a building. This covers switches and socket outlets, protection devices, distribution boards up to building control. Our product range extends over consumption counters for example heat, via valves and valve drives up to the thermostat and controls. 
The Gamma Building System technology covers especially the sections lighting and shading with all its facets. The Sego automation systems with backnet coupling finally allow even large scale systems to be controlled and monitored. In the KNX basic course you are dealing only with the area outlined in green here. The GTK5 training case contains a number of products from the range Gamma Instabus. This is a wire based version of the worldwide standardized KNX system. With these products you can flexibly install buildings, also KNX compatible devices from other manufacturers can be integrated. As a supplement to the wired device range we offer the Inotion wireless technology. This covers operation devices and push buttons which can link up to the KNX twisted pair system via a so-called Inotion to KNX gateway. The KNX technology is allocated in the Siemens division Building Technologies BT in the business area of CPS Control Products and Systems and there in the branch SRA Systems for Room Automation. KNX communication can also take place via radio control. An ocean is an option but it is not KNX. We currently offer no KNX RF devices. The KNX bus was formed under the name of EIB European Installation Bus in 1990. Eight manufacturers founded the EIB association with its headquarters in Brussels. The objectives of this association were the promotion of intelligent home and building applications in general and the EIB system in particular jointly developed by a number of well-known manufacturers in order to widen the scope of the technology and to extend it to be more competitive. One merged in 1999 with the technology associations BCI, Batibus, Club International from France and EHSA European Home Systems Association from the Netherlands. First the name of the new company was Connex Association but was renamed later in 2006 into KNX Association. Among other things the KNX Association has the following objectives. The definition of a new open standard KNX for intelligent home and building applications. The establishment of the KNX trademark as a sign of quality and interoperability between different manufacturers, the establishment of KNX as European and worldwide standard. Since the original EIB protocol was taken over one to one as the kernel in the KNX protocol, manufacturers may label most KNX devices with twisted pair connections still with the previous EIB logo as a sign of backwards compatibility. Together with their members, the KNX Association today is primarily responsible for the promotion and further technical development of the KNX standard. This also includes the common tool ETS and its sales activities. Further on, the KNX Association is responsible for the establishment of quality standards for the certification of products and training facilities, as well as the promotion and support of national KNX groups, of vocational schools and universities, promotion at trade fairs and the standardization work. The latter resulted in the KNX technology to be anchored today worldwide in all the major international standards, from Senelec to ANSI and ASHRAE. For Europe the standard is ES50090. When the KNX Association has been founded it had nine members. Today there are more than 400. There are also more than 400 recognized KNX training centers certified by the KNX Association. More than 10 also certified test laboratories in Europe ensure that the KNX products are properly audited and certified. 
there are now almost 10,000 of such products permitted to bear the KNX trademark. The success of KNX can also be seen in several hundred thousand realized projects and several tens of millions of products installed in them. Essential and as such a unique feature of KNX is the software tool ETS, Engineering Tool Software, shared by all manufacturers. This tool supports all phases of a KNX project, starting with planning and configuration of addressing and parameterization and commissioning. Finally, it supports the maintenance during normal plant operation. The ETS is a manufacturer independent tool developed and marketed by the KNX Association. Since the beginning of 2017, there is an additional development. The ETS Insight. The fundamental principle is a simple configuration, which can be further processed by the end customer after preparation by an installer. For the first time, a KNX project can be configured with a tablet. The ETS Insight was developed especially for small projects, which can be finalized quickly by an intuitive procedure. Now a small overview of KNX based products from Siemens. At first there are the user interfaces, called sensors. As you can see, Siemens offers several user interfaces designs for KNX. In our training cases, we use the design Delta I system. The user interface range is extended by touch panels and a medium sized visualization platform, which is web based. IP Control Center IPCC. We also offer training courses especially for the IP Control Center. Next, we talk about the actuators. It's an extensive product range mainly for the control of illumination and sun protection systems. There are actuators for switching two channels of 10 amps up to 15 channels of 20 amp rated current at 230 volt AC. Various dimmers, also for LED lighting, complete the range of actuators. In our training kit we find actuator 4-way N530, dim actuator 8-way N526EB02, blind actuator 2-way RL521. Inputs are also necessary everywhere. If to enable regular switches to operate on the bus or to be used as monitoring contacts, for example for auxiliary switches on MCBs for window and door monitoring. In the GTK5 the following input devices from this overview are included. Touch panel UP588-23 for 24 volt operation Room Control Unit Contouch UP204, IP Control Center N152, and Push Button Interface 4 fold UP22031. For a complete KNX system, also the so called system components are required. There are, for one, the bus coupling units. These are the link between the application modules, for example, a push button, and the KNX. Further necessary system components are the power supplies. Without these, a KNX bus cannot work. Line couplers and IP routers are needed to connect several KNX bus lines to a large network. Interfaces, USB and IP, are used for commissioning and diagnostics, but also as a connection point for certain visualizations. Function modules represent functional extensions, which are not included in normal bus devices, for example logic and event programming. With a data rail, smaller devices, one or two space units wide, can be connected quickly to a KNX bus on a thin rail side by side. For this purpose, they need a data rail contact system on their bottom. It has become old-fashioned nowadays, so there are only a few devices left over 
having such a contact system. In the Gamma Training Kit 5, the following devices are included. Bus Coupler Classic under the Movement Detector UP255 Bus Coupler BTM under all Delta I system buttons Bus Power Supply N125 IP Interface N148-22 USB Interface N148-12 Optional Event Controller N305 and IP Router N14602 In an additional module Line Coupler N140-13 and Choke N120-02 in the mainline module inside the Gamma Training Kit. KNX also provides interfaces to other automation systems such as the small controller unit logo or Profibus via Step 7 based CPUs. The light control system DALI can also be integrated via DALI dimming actuators and gateways. The internet and the local data network can be reached with the IP based components. These IP based components communicate between the KNX and the internet protocol. The GTK5 includes an IP control center N152, an IP router N14602 and a DALI gateway N14103. All these devices are used in advanced KNX trainings. Modular Room Automation Several years ago Siemens developed this modular system. This system makes it possible to compile systematic configuration variants for the room automation box. AP641. It is mainly used to control a single room. A room automation box accommodates up to eight automation modules. A decentralized power supply is also available, if required. Due to its low overall height, it can easily be integrated into suspended ceilings or stood up floors. It helps to minimize the wiring complexity and reduce the size of the circuit distribution boards. A clear series of 1 to 4 channel components, sensors and actuators fulfills almost all requirements of the specified room functionality. All components can also be installed in the single module box AP118, which fits perfectly in parapet channels. The RS components are also additionally available in two flush mounted versions, one with a BTI bus transceiver interface to accommodate user interfaces for example push buttons and the other neutral for installation in flush mounted boxes with blind cover. In the GTK5 there are two blind actuators RL521-23 each in an automation box AP118. This picture shows that networking between different components for building automation is possible with the KNX TP bus as core. Use the links on this page for more information about KNX, Siemens KNX products and training courses, especially Gamma-TD is the central information and download site for all technical data and tools related to the Siemens KNX products and systems. On the website siemens.com slash gamma you will find further links and information, for example to the catalogs, support and FAQs. Gamma minus WBT links up to more KNX e-learnings. If you still need support, you may submit hotline tickets on the support request site as shown here or call these phone numbers in Germany. Many thanks for listening and viewing. You have reached the end of this chapter.